praise the lord good morning sisters and brothers welcome to the holy mass on monday second week in ordinary time pray for divine riches and the psalms be heavenly father let your eyes be open night and day upon the divine riches and the psalms be may your holy presence fill this house of prayer in this your temple may the rejected feel accepted hope the wounded find healing protect your home from all afflictions and let your holy spirit rest upon it praise you jesus thank you jesus entrance and defend all the earth shall bow down before you o god and shall sing to you shall sing to your name o most high in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen grace of our lord jesus christ love of god and the communion of the holy spirit be with you all now with your spirit sisters and brothers we remember everyone who requested our prayers this day we offer all those petitions we receive at the divine through various online services and everyone who requested our prayers today we offer them in a special way brethren let us acknowledge our failures and shortcomings so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery in a worthy manner I confess to almighty God and to you my brothers and sisters that I have greatly said in my thoughts in my words in what I have done what I have failed to do through my fault through my fault through my most grievous fault therefore I ask blessed Mary of a virgin all the angels and saints and to you my brothers and sisters to pray for me to the Lord our God May almighty God have mercy on us forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life amen lord have mercy lord have mercy christ have mercy christ have mercy lord have mercy lord have mercy let us pray Almighty ever living God who govern all things both in heaven and on earth mercifully hear the pleading of your people and bestow your peace on our times who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit God forever and ever first reading a uh, reading from the letter to the hebrews every high priest has been taken out of mankind and is appointed to act for men in their relation with god to offer gifts and sacrifices for sins and so he can sympathize with those who are ignorant or uncertain because he too lives in the limitations of weakness that is why he has to make sin offerings for himself as well as for the people no one takes this honor on himself but each one is called by god as aaron was nor did christ give himself the glory of becoming high priest but he had it from the one who said to him you are my son today i have become your father and in another text 
you are a priest of the order of Melchizedek and forever. During his life on earth, he offered up prayer and entreaty, aloud and in silent tears, to the one who had the power to save him out of death. And he submitted so humbly that his prayer was heard. Although he was son, he learned to obey through suffering, but having been made perfect, he became for all who obey him the source of eternal salvation and was acclaimed by God with the title of High Priest of the Order of Melchizedek. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. The Lord's revelation to my master, sit on my right. I will put your force beneath your feet. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. The Lord will send from Zion your Scepter of power, rule in the midst of all your foes. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. A prince from the day of your birth on the holy mountains, from the womb before the daybreak I begot you. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. The Lord has sown on an oath he will not change. You are a priest forever a priest like Melchizedek of old. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. Gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. The word of God is living and active. It probes the thoughts and motives of our heart. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. One day when John's disciples and the Pharisees were fasting, some people came and said to Jesus, Why is it that John's disciples and the disciples of the Pharisees fast? But your disciples do not. Jesus replied, Surely, the bridegroom attendants would never think of fasting while the bridegroom is still with them. As long as they have the bridegroom with them, they could not think of fasting. But the time will come for the bridegroom to be taken away from them. And then, on that day, they will fast. No one sews a piece of unshrunken cloth on an old cloak. If he does, the patch pulls away from it the new from the old, and the tear gets worse. Nobody puts a new wine into the old wine skins. If he does, the wine will burst the skins, and the wine is lost, and the skins too. No, new wine, fresh skin. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <coughs> Dear loving children of God, today's gospel speaks all about new wine and fresh skin. And also Jesus is a little bit uh, being or taking the favor of his disciples who are not fasting, not like the disciples of John or the Pharisees, always they fast. So to uh, look into the present world, Sometimes people look into the traditional rituals and rites and traditional activities, spiritual practices. Sometimes they were very, very stick on those traditional practices, rituals and spiritual practices. But when it comes to the normal living, they are not able to be mature in their day-to-day -day life. But they are very adamant and strong, stubborn, connected with rituals, practices. But when it comes into the actual living, they are not able to practice that spiritual maturity. So, sisters and brothers, in a way, Jesus is trying to speak to us. 
the most important thing or the most important element in our life journey that is being aware and acknowledging the presence of God with you at all the times. Jesus promised, I will be with you till the end of time. Meaning, deepening the awareness of the presence of God. Jesus is not condemning fasting. Jesus is not against the traditions or rituals or pious practices. Jesus is not against, but Jesus is giving little bit importance for your daily living. How? Being in the presence of God. So when bridegroom is there with you, there is no need to fast. Meaning, when you live your day-to-day -day life, it's good to have that awareness of God all throughout your life and deepening that awareness, deepening the awareness of the presence of God in your day-to-day -day life. That really helps you for a better living. At the same time, so say some brothers, think about our pious activities, practices, rituals, spiritual practices. These are really important, but check upon all these elements, how I look at fasting, how I look at pious activities, other rituals and practices. And the above all, what is most important for us, Jesus says, new wine and fresh skin. That's only possible when we acknowledge God at all the times and deepening that awareness of the presence of God throughout our life. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth, walk of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the wine, the work of human hands, it will become a spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and devotion may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. God, the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant us, Lord, we pray that we may participate worthily in these mysteries. For whenever the memorial of this sacrifice is celebrated, the work of our redemption is accomplished through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Now with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It's truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for out of compassion for the waywardness that's ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death. By rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with angels and archangels, with thorns and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without the end we acclaim. Amen. 
holy, holy Lord of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord. <clears throat> Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Anthony, a bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also, brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. Have mercy on everyone who requested our prayers today. We pray with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her devoted spouse, Blessed Apostles and all the saints, St. Vincent de Paul, St. Mary Magdalene, St. Faustina, St. Teresa of Calcutta, and all those who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co heirs to eternal life. We praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against. Lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we might be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as you await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but the faith of your church graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Now with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. This is your time of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. Love you above all things and I decide to receive you into my soul. Come spiritually into my heart, embrace you as you are already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Communion and fun. You have prepared a table before me, and how precious is the chalice that quenches my thirst. Let us pray. Pour on us, O Lord, the spirit of your love. In your kindness, make those you have nourished by this one heavenly bread, one in mind and in heart, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended. Glorify God by our lives. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirit who wander through the world. Seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Prayer for priest. O oh, Jesus, keep all your priests. Where none may harm them, keep unstained their anointed hand, which daily touch your sacred body. Keep unsullied their lips, purple with your precious blood. Keep your unearthly their heart, sealed with the sublate marks of your glorious priesthood. Let your holy love surround them. Shield them from the world's contagion. Bless their labors with abundant fruit. And may the souls to whom they have ministered be their joy and consolation. And in heaven, the beautiful and everlasting crown. O Mary, Queen of the clergy, pray for us. Obtain for us many holy praise. Amen.
the dearest mother fairest help of all who call on me virgin purest brightest rarest help us help we cry to thee Mary help us help we pray Mary help us help we pray help us in all care and sorrow Mary help us help we pray Lady help in pain and sorrow soothe those wrecked on beds of pain May the golden light of morrow Bring them help and joy again Mary help us help we pray Mary help us help we pray Help us in all care and sorrow